Hello Assassins and welcome back to another Assassin's Creed video. In this one we are gonna go through the rumors, confirm things and my thoughts about the new Basin game, formerly known as Rift, now confirmed to be a Mirage. As you already might know, we are gonna play as Basim, and no, there is no gender choice, so it is obviously gonna be just a male Basim in his youth. But all of us will be smarter after the Ubisoft Forward event 10th of September. I'm really hoping to see a gameplay trailer of Assassin Creed Mirage, Assassin Creed 1 Remake. Also, we are having Assassin Creed Mirage The 40 Thieves quest leaked already. And I really believe that is something like the Way of the Berserker or the Legend of Beowulf in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, something similar to that one. <coughs> AC Mirage, it is gonna take a leap into the basics, but keep in mind that this game was supposed to be a DLC for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, and some of the assets will be used in this game instead of what everybody is saying that this is like complete 180. I would argue this is more like 90 degree turn towards the older titles, so it is something between the newer and older titles instead of being a complete U-turn. And shout out to one of the most trusted leakers out there, the Jonathan, French YouTuber, link will be in the description box down below. So possible release date for this one, it is gonna be a spring 2023, most likely between March and June. And the settings will be taking place in Baghdad between years 860 to 870. So just two years before Valhalla. Jonathan also believes there will be no multiple cities, just Baghdad that is divided into four different zones. Each area with a boss. We'll see, keen to see how Ubisoft will be executing this really small area. So let me know in the comments down below what you think of Mirage so far based on the videos and information you have probably seen already. So let me know in the comments down below, I'm really keen to hear your thoughts. Also hit the like button, making these videos for you guys, it is taking a long time, so a like would really help me to break the YouTube algorithm, so thank you. Even though assets from Valhalla has been used in Mirage, there will be really major changes, for example several RPG elements will be removed, like no more dialogue choices, no gender choice, and no more leveling system. I really hope that is the case. Also what I hope, that we are not gonna see Reda in this one, I really hope we don't, because in Valhalla, Reda is pretty useless. Also his shop, I think it is one of the worst microtransaction shops out there. So I really hope Mirage will be working without Reda. What you think? Let me know. Based on the leaks, currently the game does not have modern day gameplay except a small part where we see Basim entering the animals but other than that there should not be too many modern day scenes. Also there will be glimpses of memories or visions of Loki and how Loki manifested into Basim's body and consumed him. That will be interesting to see how Basim became a Loki, well transformed kind of because Basim was always a low key. But yeah, I'm keen to see how that rolls out. I think we are gonna see these memories or visions through something similar of Animus Anomalies like we had in Valhalla about the issues or Norse gods. Probably a lot of parkouring to do in order to see like full movie or something like that. From all the titles, Dual Assassination will be back, but all of us know Basim Ibn Ishaq is only using one hidden blade, so I'm keen to see how the double assassinations will be done, is it like an offhand weapon, dagger, sword sword or something like that, we'll see, we'll see, or are we getting the dual hidden plates back, because I personally miss that feature a lot, although I really liked the double sword assassinations in Assassin's Creed Black Flag, so that is also welcomed if that is implemented, because we should be seeing new movesets that are not in Valhalla, so let's see, let's see, also the eagle vision, it is making a comeback, it is not like the Odin's Pulse in Valhalla, it is something from the older games, when you are entering the Eagle Vision, everything will stay, as we can see in this clip, bluish, reddish and goldish colors 
as long as you remain in eagle vision. Also, the drone bird will be coming back as well, because he has Odysseus and Origins drone bird was much better than the one in Valhalla, so I'm really happy about that one. deception when honor is at stake, and Gorum is a stain on that honor. Then let's see what can be done to cleanse that stain. Give it a try. Take this next part with Graham Salt, because we are gonna talk about AC1 Remake that might or might not be part of the season pass for AC Mirage or Rift. However you want to say it, I personally like Rift much better than Mirage. Depending if this is a full remake, I highly doubt that it is gonna be part of the season pass. If it's something like mix between remastered and remake, then probably, but if it's full horn remake, I really doubt it is gonna be part of the season pass, because in my opinion, full on remake of first Assassin Creed, yeah, that is too big to be part or to be a side piece for basically DLC made a standalone game. That doesn't make any sense, but if it's remaster, then heck yeah. As said earlier, we all be smarter, wiser in the future, to be exact, the 10th of September after Ubisoft Forward event. So, moving back to Mirage, I have something for you from the main game of Valhalla, where Basim actually did fight with us, and I really think some of those moves will be the new animations for Mirage. Also for Mirage, like said before, there will be new animations, and the gameplay will be slightly different from Valhalla, yet still, it is based on Valhalla, it is based on Valhalla's assets. Definitely, there should be things that we can recognize from older game. Also, Basim will be able to use String Dagger to eliminate his opponents, so that is something that I'm really keen to see. One thing we actually might see in DLC or Season Pass, the journey between Basim and Hightham. Also, it is possibility that we can see in the DLCs or Season Pass how Basim, Sigurd and Haytham actually did meet. So, I'm really looking forward to this one. How about you? Let's take a look of possible animations, movesets of Basim from Valhalla's main story mission. So yeah, I'm really hoping something like this, and the way Basim is holding his sword, 
on his shoulder it is looking so awesome for now i really want to thank my channel members if you want to become a member there's a bunch of custom emojis early access to some of my videos and other perks depending on the level so consider joining and helping me to make better videos in the future as well but for now let's roll the outro thanks for watching remember to hit the like hit the sub turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that i upload or when i go live also vikings have fun stay safe be strong hope to see you in the next one skatha over and up and bye bye